He is known for his eclectic thinking, combining various philosophical and cultural influences. He is recognized for his enduring and influential contributions to aesthetic theory, literary criticism, and historical materialism. He is Walter Benjamin, a German Jewish philosopher, cultural critic, and essayist. In the early 20th century, a brilliant and enigmatic philosopher named Walter Benjamin emerged onto the intellectual scene. Born into a German Jewish family on July 15, 1892, Benjamin possessed a mind that defied categorization. Drawing inspiration from diverse sources such as German idealism, Romanticism, Western Marxism, Jewish mysticism, and Neo-Kantianism, he crafted a unique and influential body of work. Benjamin's legacy was shaped not only by his profound ideas but also by his influential friendships. Playwright Bertolt Brecht and Kabbalah scholar Gershom Scholem were among his closest confidants, while his cousin Gunther Anders was related to renowned philosopher Hannah Arendt. These connections enriched Benjamin's intellectual journey and helped him explore a wide range of topics. His essays on aesthetics and literary criticism continue to resonate with readers today. From his groundbreaking, The Work of Art in the Age of Mechanical Reproduction, to his thought-provoking, Theses on the Philosophy of History, Benjamin challenged conventional thinking and offered fresh insights into the nature of art and the course of human history. Tragically, Benjamin's life was cut short in 1940. At the age of 48, while attempting to escape the invading Wehrmacht, he met his untimely demise through suicide at Port Bou on the French-Spanish border. Though he did not experience widespread recognition during his lifetime, the years following his death brought him the posthumous acclaim he deserved. Walter Benjamin's intellectual contributions continue to inspire generations of thinkers, his ideas resonating with those seeking a deeper understanding of the world. His eclectic blend of philosophical traditions, cultural criticism, and literary analysis pushed the boundaries of knowledge and left an indelible mark on the fields of aesthetics, literary theory, and historical materialism. Walter Benjamin, one of the most influential philosophers of the 20th century, grappled with profound questions about history and progress. In his renowned work, Theses on the Philosophy of History, Benjamin sought to reconcile the idea of progress with the chaotic realities of the past. Completed in 1940 and published posthumously in 1942, this work remains a testament to Benjamin's deep insights. Benjamin's ninth thesis, in particular, captures the essence of his struggle. He pondered how to reconcile the notion of progress in the present with the seeming disorder of history. Benjamin recognized that history is not a linear march towards improvement but a complex tapestry woven with destruction, culture, and the fight between humanity and nihilism. But it was Benjamin's poignant reflection on the Jewish quest for the Messiah that left a lasting impact. He highlighted the prohibition, in some strands of Judaism, against attempting to determine the specific year of the Messiah's arrival. Benjamin emphasized that this did not make Jews indifferent to the future. On the contrary, every moment held the potential for the Messiah's entrance. Benjamin's work forces us to confront the complexities of history and our place within it. It reminds us that progress is not always linear, and that chaos and destruction are integral parts of the human experience. Just as the Jewish people maintained hope and anticipation for the Messiah, we too must find purpose and meaning in each passing moment. In our daily lives, Benjamin's philosophy encourages us to embrace the uncertainty and unpredictability of existence. It urges us to recognize that progress is not always obvious or immediate, and that setbacks and difficulties are part of the journey. By understanding that every moment holds the potential for transformation, we can approach life with a sense of hope and possibility. Walter Benjamin's Theses on the Philosophy of History challenges us to reconsider our understanding of progress and history. It reminds us that the past is not a stagnant relic, but a living force that shapes the present and the future. By grappling with the complexities of our past, we can navigate the uncertainties of the present and find meaning in each passing moment. Walter Benjamin, born into a wealthy business family in Berlin, had a unique upbringing and family background. His father was a banker in Paris, and his uncle and cousin were prominent figures in the fields of psychology and philosophy. Benjamin's education began at the Kaiser Friedrich School in Charlottenburg, where he showed an early interest in philosophy. However, it was during his time at the University of Berlin that he had his first exposure to Zionism and began to develop his own ideas about the meaning of Judaism. Benjamin distanced himself from political and nationalist Zionism, instead embracing a form of cultural Zionism that recognized and promoted Jewish values. In his own words, he saw Judaism as the most distinguished bearer and representative of the spiritual. This commitment to the furtherance of European culture became a central aspect of Benjamin's identity, one that he held on to throughout his life. During this time, Benjamin was involved in the German youth movement and became acquainted with influential figures such as Gershom Scholem and Martin Buber. 
He was elected president of the Frey Student Tenschaft and wrote essays advocating for educational and cultural change. Benjamin's ideas aligned with the belief that a new youth must pave the way for revolutionary cultural transformation. Despite his academic pursuits, Benjamin faced challenges in obtaining employment after World War I due to his refusal to serve in the military. He continued his studies and focused on translating the works of French poet Charles Baudelaire. Benjamin's refuge in Switzerland on medical grounds further complicated his prospects for academic positions. In 1915, Benjamin relocated to Munich, where he continued his studies at the University of Munich. It was during this time that he had intensive discussions with scholars such as Rainer Maria Rilke and Gershom Scholem, forming friendships that would shape his intellectual development. Walter Benjamin's early life and education provided the foundation for his later philosophical ideas. His exploration of Judaism and its connection to spirituality influenced his understanding of culture and the role of individuals in shaping society. Benjamin's commitment to the pursuit of knowledge and cultural transformation serves as a reminder to us all to engage critically with our own beliefs and values, and to actively contribute to the betterment of our communities. Walter Benjamin, a renowned philosopher and critic, had a fascinating life filled with diverse friendships and encounters with influential figures. From his adolescence to his adulthood, he found himself at the heart of the intellectual and cultural scene in interwar Berlin and Paris. Benjamin's ability to connect with various communities allowed him to become a maven within these circles, interpreting and analyzing the important events of his time. One such event was his presence at the conference where Kurt Gödel first presented his groundbreaking work on the incompleteness theorem. This theorem revolutionized the field of mathematics, and Benjamin's presence in the crowd reflects his keen interest in the advancements of science and logic. In addition to his interest in mathematics, Benjamin also explored other subjects, such as the ancient Mayans. He took a class on this topic from Rainier Maria Rilke, a renowned poet and writer. Benjamin's thirst for knowledge and his ability to engage with different disciplines enriched his understanding of the world around him. During his university years, Benjamin attended a seminar alongside Martin Heidegger, an influential philosopher. The concepts they encountered during this time would shape their thinking for the rest of their lives. Benjamin's ability to engage with such esteemed intellectuals highlights his intellectual curiosity and his desire to constantly expand his knowledge. Benjamin's friendships were not limited to the world of academia. He was a frequent house guest and comrade of Bertolt Brecht, a prominent playwright and poet. Their close relationship allowed Benjamin to immerse himself in the world of theater and literature, further broadening his intellectual horizons. Another notable encounter was with Martin Buber, a philosopher who took an interest in Benjamin's work. However, Benjamin declined to contribute to Buber's journal, finding it too exoteric for his taste. This decision showcases Benjamin's strong convictions and his commitment to pursuing his own intellectual path. Throughout his life, Benjamin developed close connections with authors and thinkers. He was often seen spending time with Ernst Bloch, an older author who was writing a work called The Spirit of Utopia, at the time. Benjamin's association with Bloch inspired his own exploration of the theory of categories, a theme that would shape his career and philosophical outlook. However, Benjamin's friendships were not without their challenges and tragedies. One of his closest friends from high school tragically committed suicide at the outbreak of World War I, leaving a profound impact on Benjamin. Additionally, another friend of his became one of the Jewish liaisons who took Nazi diplomats on a tour of Palestine, highlighting the complex and difficult times in which Benjamin lived. Among Benjamin's closest friends was Gershom Scholem, who became the sole executor of his literary estate. Scholem was instrumental in preserving and promoting Benjamin's work, and through his efforts, Benjamin's writings on the Kabbalah and other esoteric subjects were made available to the public. Walter Benjamin's life and friendships offer valuable lessons for us in dealing with our daily lives. His relentless pursuit of knowledge, his openness to diverse disciplines, and his ability to form connections with intellectuals from various fields teach us the importance of intellectual curiosity, open-mindedness, and the power of meaningful friendships. Benjamin's story reminds us to embrace different perspectives, engage with diverse ideas, and continually seek out opportunities for growth and learning. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.